Stop. There we are. Gives us a chance to say hi to all our friends in Brazil at Visiona, at San Jose dos Campos, and at the Ministry of Defense in Brasilia. I'm sorry if I had trouble with the pronunciation there. I've been told more than once this week, and my Portuguese is terrible, but I'm doing my best. Sorry about that. Oh, hi also to our friends at Katie Satin Soul, to the Talos Alenia teams in Cannes, to our industrial partners, Issa and Kness, and all of you following on the internet. We hope you enjoy it. We're going to cut away and let you listen to the DDO as he calls out the final seconds. Watch for the cryo arms to open at minus five. Atout de DDO, attention pour les décomptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage UAP et décollage. or not. Ariane 5 beginning her mission, lifting off beautifully from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire. Beginning her mission, the fourth for Ariane space this year with her two new satellites for different regions, for Latin America and for Asia, making her way up through the clouds which have passed over us, giving us a great, great DDO says everything is well on board. The two boosters are providing 99.0% of the thrust, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 775 tons at liftoff. That's the total mass. She's burning five tons of fuel every second, two and a half tons in each booster, and another 300 kilos in the core stage. Ariane 5 is now following the, the normal in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders. DDO says everything is fine on board. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn so you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. Right now, the first flight phase, the single core stage engine and the boosters are burning. Boosters going to burn for another 20-25 seconds. Extinguished and with the good viewing conditions you'll be able to see those boosters flame out and even probably fall back from the launch vehicle. So get ready for that. That's quite a sight in about 20 seconds. We're 15 kilometers from the launch pad here in Jupiter, but even here you can feel the sensation of liftoff. And at about a minute and 30 seconds after launch, delayed, the delayed sound comes over here. There is the flame out of the boosters. Like. And the DDO has confirmed it. You can see on either side there's a single point of a light in the middle. That's the launcher making her way eastward. On either side you can see the flamed out boosters trailing a little smoke. Lovely sight and in, a, in another minute we may, if we're lucky, be able to see the extinction of the fairing. That'll be nice. That'll make another couple of points of light. The two boosters fall 500 kilometers from shore in a protected area. What that looks like is this. There's another booster on the left of the vehicle out of camera range. At the bottom of your screen, on the left our altitude, on the right our speed. You can see that in two minutes, Ariane has already hit a speed of over two kilometers per second. The speed we need to inject a satellite is roughly nine kilometers per second. So keep your eyes on the numbers. When we get near the region of kilometers, you'll know we're getting close to separation. The DDU has called out separation of the fairing, and you can see that up there. Another two points of light. What that looks like from the vehicle point of view, that's one half on the left, another half falling out of camera range on the right. We can separate the fairing now, revealing, as you can see on the top, our first satellite, Brazilian satellite. We can separate the fairing because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere, over 100 kilometers up. 
There's neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passengers.